Welcome to the CAD Academy. This is Stephanie Kwame, the CAD Academy is a pre-engineering pre-architecture program with STEM-based curriculum. And uh, we are going through a series called CAD 101 or CAD Roots 101. And uh, we did talk a little bit about the experience that, a personal experience that I've had with Taliesin West. And we were honored to support their CAD programs out there for a while, and that's the Frank Lloyd Wright School of Architecture in Scottsdale. Well, another major person in the Valley of the Sun that has made a big impact on computer-aided design was Mike Riddle, or it is Mike Riddle, because he continues to make an impact. I ran into Mike Riddle early on in my tenure with uh, PC, or microcomputers, with Computerland, and Computerland was a computer chain, and I was their first vertical market person in computer-aided design. And we did a series of seminars on his new product, which was FastCAD and EasyCAD. And I also was the representative for a package called AutoCAD. And Mike used to come down uh, to Computerland and visit for a little bit and uh, being a person of uh, such stature you know ha having written the uh, auto the original AutoCAD and having written this new CAD package he's really a genius uh, he would come in and he would be wearing a t-shirt and his hair might be combed and might not be combed and uh, he really didn't care about what he looked about looked like that much, and he really didn't care about people giving him alms or recognizing him uh, or that sort of thing. He's just a um, very genuine person, and a very and loves to program. He's very uh, dedicated to uh, CAD programming in particular, and in. April 1st of 2008, the CAD Society Professional Association of CAD users gave him a Lifetime Achievement Award for his historical role in CAD software. And the funny thing about it is you won't read too much about him because he kind of is there in the background all the time. He really doesn't blow his own horn. And um, one thing... Um, that might be interesting for you is to go and log on to a website called digibarn.com and in it Mike actually talks in there and he talks about the uh, roots of the cat industry and um, the technology business and the early microcomputing world and I kept running into Mike on and on through the years and we uh, would visit together and talk together about uh, CAD and what he was doing um, and it was great to follow him. One of the things a lot of people don't realize that he was the person that chose the DWG extension that AutoCAD currently has. And one day I asked him, why did you pick that uh, DWG as the file format? And he said that there was other packages using it back then. And uh, you'll notice if you do any research that they do give uh, DWG, the uh, the file de designation for AutoCAD, they give credit for him d for Mike Riddle doing that. And of course, it's changed a lot through the years. And and instead of being open, it's probably becoming more and more closed as it goes through the years. Uh, after Mike s uh, did an agreement and he left Autodesk, he started his own company called Evolution Computing, and they do a really awesome. Uh, and easy to use and it is very very fast compared to other software packages called FastCAD and EasyCAD and I did do a series of seminars uh, with and showing his product and um, right now well a couple of years ago Mike came into the CAD store and he actually brought his new wife and his, his son and it was great to visit with him and catch up and he showed me something that he's working on now I, he specifically mentioned that the problem with PC CAD is file format and the ability for uh, people to read that file format that's like a, a big block or a hindrance between uh, being able to work together well and so he continues to work on and program and I think he probably will and uh, never give that up because I think that is really not the love of his life, his wife is, but it's definitely up there.